Hey everybody, Card Bandit here. What I want to go over is a card flourish called Neptune that was created on Vegetable Heroes channel. Um, it's a part of a 10 flourish tutorial video that he did and I wanted to feature this cut and I might feature another couple other ones that are from his channel uh, because he had a lot of neat unique ideas and I found that I really enjoyed performing a lot of his flourishes. So I'll leave a link in the description box below and you guys can check out his channel. Um, but th without further ado, I want to get into Neptune. Now, as a disclaimer, this is a really tricky cut, and I'm doing this from the front so you can see everything that's happening. Um, the back view can be kind of tricky to learn from, um, but I will try and go through this as fast as I can so I can get a back view in. Um, but like I said, this is a tricky cut, so I recommend that you have a very good base knowledge on cardistry before you attempt this, so that way you can learn this quicker. So let's get into it, guys. What you're going to want to do is start off in straddle grip. Then you break off into Z grip, and break off again with the middle finger like you would a Sybil cut. Then you, what you do is you come along the back, corner with this thumb, the lower thumb, and you contact the back corner of the bottommost card. What you're then going to do is you switch the grip from your middle finger to your ring finger of that middle packet. You shift this packet over a little bit so that the corner is on the thumb and the corner is on the middle finger. So you, let's just go over that one more time. Break off into Z, break off again into a Sybil cut, and you want a small packet of cards here. Contact the back with your thumb, this thumb, and then you switch the grip from your middle to your ring finger. This packet can slide over using the thumb and the ring finger grip so that the corner is on the thumb. There you go. <laughs> so this is where the cards lie now. What you're going to do next is a tricky move. So you're going to rotate this whole middle packet around the thumb using the ring finger of the other hand. So I'll go over this slowly. I'll try and do it as slowly as I can. Like so. So you're pretty much switching the corners. Now, what you may find is that this is a tricky maneuver to do, and if you can't get all the way around the thumb, you can grip it with your ring and your pinky to help bring it the rest of the way around, and then grab it at the corners, the other corners. So this is where you're, it'll end up. Um, but like I said, that is a tricky move, so I'll, I'll go over it one more time, but I just recommend practicing that until you can get it smooth. And like I said, if you get stuck over halfway, you can use your grip it between your ring finger and your pinky to help it go the rest of the way. So you're essentially bringing this hand over top of the thumb and rotating the packet around. <laughs> so now what you can do from this position is you're going to rotate this packet 360 degrees with your middle finger by doing a packet twirl over top of the ring finger. So this long edge is contacted with the middle finger of the overhead hand and you rotate it over top of the middle finger. What the middle finger now, does now is that same middle finger will reach down and grab the packet here at the corner and the thumb comes along the back and contacts the other corner so you've got this packet gripped at the short edge at the corners with the middle finger and the thumb and you break off a small packet. This packet will then get flipped over top of the one held between your thumb and your ring finger. So how you do that is you bring this hand, your overhead hand, right over top and it'll flip this card over. So I'll show you the motion.
and all the while you're still holding on to this packet with your ring finger. So you bring your hand over and that flips that packet upside down. Then you transfer the grip from your, your ring finger to your middle finger in the deck hand. Then the card packet that just flipped over you're going to slide it along this packet, contact the th corner of the thumb, and then you're going to turn this packet down on top. Like that. Then you're going to switch this corner to your ring finger. You're then going to rotate it 360 degrees like you did before, contacting the long edge and rotating that packet over the middle finger. You then perform a scissor cut in the lower hand to drop the packet that's contacting the thumb behind the deck. That's a tricky maneuver if you've got this because you have to keep this packet in your hand. Then you drop this packet between your index finger and your thumb on top of the deck. You then grab a small packet of cards from the deck using your thumb and your middle finger. So you grab with your thumb and your middle finger right there. You break off a small packet of cards. You then turn that packet of cards 360 degrees using your index finger. Like that. This packet in between your thumb and your ring finger also then gets turned 360 degrees by contacting the long edge at the top with the index finger in the deck hand. So you rotate your deck hand over, then you rotate those cards 360 degrees underneath the index finger. This finger, the index finger in the, for the other packet, then comes out and grabs the short edge, rotating the cards up so they're vertical. You're then going to make the deck hand have the deck vertical. So you make the deck vertical by grabbing here having the deck face up vertically and then you're going to drop this packet behind the deck. <laughs> you're almost done the flourish at this point. All you have left to do now is you're going to contact that short edge from behind with the middle finger of the overhead hand. You're going to twist that packet around so it's face up. Your thumb is then going to come behind the corner here and contact the back corner. The middle finger comes onto the corner at the front so it's gripped between the middle finger and the thumb. This packet's then turned over again by rotating the wrist. You put it into the crotch of the thumb, rotate the deck up by twisting your middle, your ring, and your pinky so that this edge clears this edge of the deck and then you bring the deck back on top by closing it in. And that's Neptune. Let's get into the over-the-shoulder view real quick. 